two, three. <laughs> Paranoid Android is um, a C minor chord and a bit of a departure in its fingering, um, at least the way that I play it. Um, second finger C, fourth finger E flat, third finger G. Are we all on the same page? Are we, are we in the same place here? Same page? Okay, so. Um, from there, change the bass, a C, to a B flat. Ooh. From there, um, the B flat becomes an F. From here, A, G, E flat. B flat, G, E flat. Just that much again. Let's take a look at the chords. So, C minor, we have. Then C minor 7 over B flat. Third inversion chord. Um, I guess I would call this one. I don't know, does, does F7 sus2 sound ridiculous? Not really, I guess. No, not at all. Um, <clears throat> F7 sus. And then from there, open A. Uh, G E flat, B flat, G E flat. <laughs> I sounded like that, uh, that little droid from Buck Rogers just now. All right, anyway, Buck Rogers. From here, uh, G minor, uh, open A again, B flat, one more time. So from here, I'm going to try to keep these two notes, E and D, static, same place. And now the melody that's in this part, at least as far as the guitar part is concerned, is going to walk down on the G string. I'm going to go B flat to an A to an open G. So the chords. Right. Like that. So, um, let's try that again for the, uh, the G minor chord. And from there, we'll go back to the verse. to a bridge um, that'll also uh, use this G minor form but then when you bring in the high E string um, it becomes a G minor 6 so you have this to an F in the bass from here to an E7 but it's kind of built you know from from this idea more or less keeping the G sharp the same and putting another D on the B string Back to G minor twice, G minor six twice. This is D minor nine, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Uh, from here to an E7. Four times.
Okay, um, sorry about that. So there's this really cool break um, melodically that happens with the guitar part. Um, it's basically a riff in A, um, I guess A minor blues-ish. Um, it's got this really cool flat 7-7-1 seven, seven, figure at the end. Let me just play it for you first. More or less like that. So, um, A. To a C. A, 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 C, A. Uh, from there to a G sharp. All up strokes. C to D to finish it. I'm filling in a lot of space between those notes with little mutes and additional upstrokes, downstrokes. Just kind of um, to make it drive forward a bit more. Not that it does it on its own, but just as a solo guitar player playing a song for uh, all, all of us. Um, <laughs> it kind of makes sense to fill in more space, I guess. I don't whatever. Um, so after that riff, it'd be, the second time through begins very much the same way. One G sharp, and then uh, D C A, two C's, and then G G sharp. parts of this tune. Um, uh, C major. This part that precedes the solo. Um, C major. I guess you can just play C, you know, uh, A flat, B flat to C. But I think put a little twist on this, it's kind of cool. So C major, and A5 add 9, uh, the fret spelling, 4, 6, and 8, to um, do a B flat 6 chord, or a G minor in first inversion, however you want to think of it. Um, we'll have a B flat, mute the A string, the G and the D string, and then 7th fret of the G to finish it. And that'll come back into a C. 